A12 bar blues ideas, chord structure. Um, the real simple stuff like with the index and the ring, A7 on the first fret. Now the, the open five there, the E string, if you press your pinky down to the third fret, you get another flat seven to add to the existing flat seven that you have. So, and then the last bar, I'll add that other flat seven and just kind of makes it a little bit tense for the transition to uh, the four chord. I'm just using a D7, regular D7 chord. The next one up the neck that's really accessible is the D9. And if I just play the top four string, I get a really accessible uh, D9 chord. And then the same is true for the E7. I can go up and get an E9 chord. So for example, you get a, a tune that sounds like this. Here, you can now transition to another style like the A6 chord, one, three, six, one. And you can switch styles. D9. So you combine those two and you can string together and if you could play the A7 up here in the fifth fret, you have a one on the skinny E. If you lay your pinky down and you get the flat seven and the flat three, that's a sharp nine. And that's a kind of a nasty you know, way to, to finish that chord off. So you go. It creates tension that is then released by the four chord. Fun stuff, work it.